What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Fitness Realty channel. My name is TJ McClelland, and I'm the broker. I'm super excited to share all the things we have planned with you. So sit back, strap in, and let's have some fun. What's up, everybody? My name is TJ McClelland. I am the broker of Fitness Realty, bringing you January's market update. Woo! 2023. Happy New Year. I love you guys. Thank you so much. We've grown the channel like crazy. Thank you for everyone and your support. Thank you for your views. Like, share, and comment down below. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much again. I don't know how much I can say that without sounding real stupid, but I just really want to say thank you. We can't do this without you. So without further ado, let's start with the mortgage interest rates. They are up about a half percent, maybe uh 0.6% from last month to this month. And so you can see now we're at this uh, 7.592% in the 30 year fix. Obviously, this is just some raw data. Everybody's situation is going to be different. So talk to a lender before you take this as advice because there are a lot of buy down programs and all sorts of crazy stuff you can do with lending to get a different rate. And so I just love to showcase this because it is on the rise, of course. And so you can kind of see that. We would have been right around, I think when I shot that video, it was closer to this because when I saw it, it was like seven, almost like almost seven exactly. And so you can kind of see we jumped up, we jumped down, we're kind of on this trend line right around in seven and a half for now. So they were pretty high, the highest on this graph back in October for the blue line. And then they kind of tapered down and then they're kind of flatlining in here in seven and a half. So anyway, take that for what it's worth. Let's move on to active listings in Utah on the utahrealestate.com website. We've got 7,813. This has really been coming down from the uh, just over 10,000 about 60 days ago. And this is natural trend. It happens every single year. So don't think like, oh, the inventory is going down. It's going to become a buyer's market again. At the end of the year, people just stop listing property. They take it off the market. They want to wait till next year. That's just nobody wants to move during the holidays. And if people are moving during the holidays, it's usually for job transfer or whatever. And so you can just see this is trending down, but it, it's natural. It happens every single year. Let's do the average rental cost before we get into the, the raw data from Utah real estate. So I've ran all the numbers for every area that I like to kind of run rental property data for. Let's view this graph, which I think will just blow your minds. So you can kind of see I've got all these trend lines. The main thing I want to show is see all these straight trend lines that go through that are kind of maybe like translucent. They're a little see-through. You can see all of them are trending up. Right? There's not a single line in here that's trending down. Rent prices are going up. That's just the name of the beast. From 2018 to today, you can see these trend lines are all going up. They may have gone in around, like they may have gone in up and down, up and down, up and down, but eventually this trend line is all tracking upward. The thing I wanted to show is this average graph really fast. So you can see the average rental price. So that's kind of an aggregate of all that data rolled up into one. So you can see when I started tracking this, this trend line was moving up, of course, but you can kind of see we were high above the trend line, came down a little bit, we came down below it, but this below tra trajectory wasn't enough to make this trend line come down. And so you can see this trend line is just going to continue to go up and now we're well above it, right? So you guys know, if you're a renter out there, by the way, you should contact me. We can get you into a house. You should not be renting anymore. Like there are people that are always going to be renters. If they're here for a short time, yes, be a renter. If you are a person that's working on your credit or whatever, sure, rent. But your rent just went berserk from this time to this time. Let's see what this one is. January 2021 to December 2021, the average was about I don't know, maybe fifteen fifty, and now the average is probably right around eighteen eighty, maybe eighteen fifty. I mean, if you've got an extra three hundred dollars a month in your pocket to waste on rent, sure, no problem. I'm never going to tell anybody to do anything like that, and or to stop doing whatever they're going to do. But that's three hundred dollars a month every year, or every month for every year that it went up, and it's still going to go up. So if you want to get into a house, let me know. All right, I'm off my soapbox about that. Boom, rent's over. Now let's talk about the average home price. The average home price in Salt Lake County is 560, or at the end of December was 560. So you can see we were at 605 in October. We did have that little bump of people that were like, ah, we better buy something before the end of the year, get in before the holidays. Then it came down in November, 20 grand. 
It came down another 26000 in December. So the average home price for Salt Lake County is coming down. Um, let's see. This is probably what's 20000 of uh, six hundred grand. That's probably 3 4%, something like that. Whatever. Something like that. Let's say it's 3 or 4%. So you did 3, 3% here, 4% here. So in two months, you lost 7% of your average home price in Salt Lake County. So we know the market's trending down. Buyers have lost their purchasing power because the interest rates have crushed everyone. That's not new news. The news that you should be watching for is if you're timing the market, yeah, wait a little while, no problem. But if you're looking to get into a house, there's great opportunity right now because sellers will give us a lot of concessions. They will do sellers buy downs. They will help us with rates, tons of stuff so that they can get their home sold and move on to wherever they need to go. Um, and then you can get into a house where you're not spending money on rent. This is just the median home price. You can see we did about uh, 20000 from October to November, about 15000 from November to December. So obviously it's trending downward. I think this number will start to squeeze a little bit because I think that the median home price is just not going to go down as fast as this average home price because the averages have like super big property on one end and really tiny property on the other. Median is that like number that is in the middle or is that the one that shows up a lot? I should learn that. Let's see. Median means midpoint. Okay, great. So the median is that midpoint. <laughs> All right. I think I said it right the first time. Whatever. I'm not going to go back. We do have 19 agents on our team. We've got zero outside broker counts. We do have one person on our staff that is becoming a broker. Hopefully he opens up a new office. Office, Then he'll be the first one. We are doing point one of the market share. We're company 231 out of 1373. So what is that? So we're in the top 17% of companies. That's not bad. I want to be in the top 10% one day. Let's look at this average graph really fast. So you can see I've got data going all the way back to 1996, but it's just kind of useful to see like 07, we were pretty high above the line. We came down below the line for a long time. It took all the way till January 2012 right? Or maybe February, something like that. And then it took a while to get above the trend line and we were rocketed crazy way above the trend line. This is the high point, October 22. I don't think we'll ever go back to that for a while. It's going to take some downturn and then we'll go back above it and we'll create a new high. That's just the way the market moves. Luckily in real estate, it moves really, really slow. Like this process is, let's see, 13 years or 15 years. Like if you looked at this on the stock market, you'd be like, oh, that happened in three minutes. You know, like that's really hard to predict. Right now, of course, we're coming down. And so it'll take a while for this to actually reverse because it just doesn't reverse overnight. And so you'll probably see it come down below the trend line and then we'll go back up. That's just, if I had to make a prediction, I think that's the way it'll go. If you know what I'm doing right now, I'm purchasing another house. So a lot of people would say, why are you buying it on the downside? Like this is the down slope. Why would you buy it right there? And for me, I'm buying it because it's helping me create more passive cash flow and it's helping me buffer my taxes. And it's also putting me into a position to have another piece of property and showcase to banks that I'm able to uh, capitalize on those market assets so that when the market goes down to here, I can say, hey, bank, I want to do one property here one property here, one property here on the way up. Anyway, that's just what I'm trying to do in my personal life. All right, enough of that. Let's go to the utahrealestate.com market analysis. Thank you, utahrealestate.com for putting all this together. These are, or this is the company that we pay our board dues to them. And so they put all this together. So I wanted to say thank you to them. Can't do this without you guys. I love the data. I love the graphs. I think they look really good. All right, number of li uh, listings entered. So number of residential listings entered into the MLS. You can see we've got this turtle shell. We talk about it all the time. It'll continue to trend down. It probably will be like right here at the end of December. That's just the nature of the beast, right? It always looks like this. This will be kind of funny to see. You can see this little January tick. 30 listings have put, been put on the market in the last two days. This isn't real good data like to look at, you know? Like, we don't need to actually look at this until January has the close. And it'll probably be somewhere around here, like 3,000 or 3,500. Maybe there will be even more. I'm not really sure. But we'll have to take a look at that when it happens. Active residential listings per day. You can just see, let's see. That's weird that they have it saying 2023. I think the purple line is 22 and this orange line was 
2021. Yeah, because, I mean, we just hit 2023, so how do we have December 29th of 2023? <laughs> All right, skip that. They haven't, they haven't fixed that yet. Let's look at the active number or average number of active residential listings per day per month. You can see we were in this weird curve, this yellow line of 21. That is the low, low amount of inventory. So we had that same trend in 22 at the beginning of the year. And then, boom, it went way back up and went and said, let's closely align ourselves to 2019. That looks a little bit better. 2020 was the weird year where it was like the reverse of that. Hey, we looked like kind of closer to 2018 for this area. And then we kind of peaked out for listings, active listings for 2020 in April. And then it came all the way down till we got to this yellow box here in 21 of like zero inventory on the market, which was a wild, wild time, if you guys remember. All right, under contract listings, uh, we're going to skip. They have the data for 23. Let's look at under contract residential listings. So you can see this orange line is way, way down. People have just lost their purchasing power. So we'll have to see what it looks like next year. I'll bet it'll start somewhere right around here and kind of trend around and come back down. Kind of normal. I bet it'll have a more normal curve. Oh, look, Xander's here. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? I was putting the, the badge. Cool. The nice. What's up, dude? Say hi to everybody. Hi. All right. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. <laughs> See you, bud. He's funny. He snuck in here. That's funny. All right. Skip active no-show listings. Like I said, that's that weird way to talk about listings that aren't really ready for the market, but they need to be up on the MLS because of our board and how the paperwork has to be generated. Total number of sold residential listings. Man, look at how far down. Is. So in 2022, in December, there were only 2,278 listings that were closed. Some of those numbers, I'll bet they'll change uh, just because people closed in the last week of December, but probably haven't done any of the material on utahrealestate.com to update that yet. So I'll bet that'll go up a tiny hair, but probably not by much. Back to market listings, of course, this is those list these are those listings that you get active, they go under contract, and then they fall through contract breaks or whatever and so it's pretty far down so you kind of have that same turtle shell looking kind of thing so that's kind of interesting to look at i think the volatility through the middle is obviously just people are putting offers in on stuff and then it falls through and they pull it back and it goes back active because there's just more inventory to look at through here in the middle of the year so just more activity is, is uh, what it ha what happens in my opinion all right well that's it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed this january market update I'm super excited to share that with you guys. If you want more information, if you're a renter and you need more information about own, owning a piece of property, reach out. Let me know. I've got plenty of people on our team that can help you or I can help you directly. My business partner, my mom, she's amazing. I love spending time with her and uh, she's a guru in this business. So if you want to talk to her as well, reach out. We'll get you her information. Okay. Well, I, I hope you guys enjoy. Happy New Year. I love you. Set out your goals. Hopefully you guys crush it. I love you guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Well, that's a wrap. If you like this podcast, like, share, and comment down below. And if you want some free real estate information, check us out at fitnessrealty.com forward slash baller. Well, thanks for supporting us. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Later.